One, two, three, sneak attack. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of that humble... It that took me by surprise. I forgot that's what the picture was, and for a quick second, I forgot. My mind blanked to something either out of dead space or something out of the forest, either or. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen of that humble internet. My name is Ryan, a.k.a. The Rye Man. And if you didn't know that by now... Turn back, turn back now, because God, is this channel, like, how do I best describe this channel in the state of things? Have you ever been on a giant passenger plane that lost both of its wings, and the pilot up in front can't even tell you to kiss your ass goodbye because he's passed out drunk? Yeah, that's this channel. We're back with, with some. We're back with some more Katowa Shoujo. What was my context going into this? Besides, oh, we just finished chapters, and that's where this came from. What is going on? What is that? What is that? Oh, I remember things now. We had a tenant about a... And just simply asking if Shizune wanted to be our girlfriend, she said, yeah, fuck it, okay. Yeah, I dropped an F-bomb, not even three minutes. I'm barely two minutes in, so... I don't get monetized for my stuff anyway, so who cares? The following day passes uneventfully. And with surprising uh, quickness, I find renewed motivation to learn sign language. I would think so. If if my girlfriend, if I had one, was deaf, first of all, I would thank my lucky stars, because if she heard what my voice sounded like, she would have gone running for the hills a long time ago. But yeah, it's definitely one of those things that you... That you it seems I have a knack for learning sign, so it would be a waste not to do it, and falling behind would be even more unacceptable. Do we not get a reaction from Misha when we first break that news? Did we not talk to her yet? Game developers, game writers, game journalists, everyone in between, if you rob me from my moment of seeing Misha's face, I'm going to continue to do nothing because that's my life. Summer break is coming up, even though I figure the student council work would see a drop-off uh, proportionally to how uh, lethargic uh, uh, my classes are becoming. It doesn't happen that way. Every day, I get swamped under increasingly meaningless work. Despite how much I want to, I, I don't have even a free second to talk to Shizune nowadays. Every time I look at her, her face is buried in some book of records or some stack of papers that need to be checked over in triplicate. Today, I woke up early to come to school before everyone else, hoping to catch Shizune. She has a habit of coming in first thing in the morning, to be more punctual than all the other students. Unfortunately, I think I'm earlier than her. Is this going to be like a thing where our relationship seems to go on the rocks because business really just seems to come first before anything else? Probably not. I look. I, I read too much into everything. Hearing the student council room click close uh, to my right tells me that this uh, that isn't the case. I guess I got here just behind her. I enter the room and tap Shizune on the shoulder to get her attention. Maybe she expects a conversation, which is why she puts down the carton of orange juice in her hand. Good morning. Where's your better half? Right here. Right here, it's me. I know what he's referring to, and I'm not going to give in. Can we have some peace from Misha? We are separate individuals. You need to... Oh my god, oh my goodness. What would happen if you, if you put... A person who is very no-nonsense type into the same room with me who has inadvertently mastered dry humor? 
Oh god. Would that end in a fist fight? Or would that end in a relationship? Come to think of it, I think we're gonna find out. Come along, boys and girls. We have science. Think about it, they must get that quite a bit. Hmm. I can think of no other way to explain how ready she was with that answer. You're here early. That's good. You can help me look over some handouts. They're going out later today. I came here early specifically so I could see without having to do work. According to Misha, being early isn't new for you. No, no, I'm not going to make that joke. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have withheld on on cleaner jokes. I'm not I'm not going to mm -mm 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 -mm. mm -mm. <laughs> Oh no, you're not making it easy for me. Oh no. <laughs> it's not new for you either. Are you saying you want to race? Shizune trusts her glasses nonchalantly. I trust her that be believes that how giddy she is inside about the thought of having something very petty to take competitively and seriously. I think the smaller the matter is, the more it excites her. It's not a race. Do you want to make it a contest? I don't. I almost forgot to add the last part. The most important part. Well, that's fine. There are too many days left in the school year. Here, and I, I get tired of it anyway. With that, Shizane picks up her juice and finishes it off. I wonder if she's going to try and shoot the empty container into the trash, but she doesn't. In fact, she seems puzzled as to why I seem so disappointed. I better get to the point. I just wanted to talk. Our break is practically here, you know. And we should spend more time together, anyway. I was thinking that we could do that over the summer. Shizune's face turns as red as mine must be. And she starts adjusting her glasses, flustered. With an all-purpose gesture, she taps her fingers together in thought, considering her next words carefully. I don't, I don't think that's too far out of the question. I mean, I, I, I'm, I may be like unknowledgeable in this situation, but I would think that people who agree to be boyfriend girlfriend would just say, "Hey, let's spend time together." You mean like a date? I don't know! The most form of communication I have nowadays with a woman is sending her dumb jokes. What's the recent one I sent someone, by the way? That Hold on a second. Oh, yes. This is what I sent her. I asked her, why was the Scarecrow promoted? She replied with, oh, no. Because <laughs> he was outstanding in his field. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's my that's that, that that that's as far as I go with communication with people. You two are fun. What was I talking about? Just because we're going out somewhere, that instantly makes it a date. That's a good question, and I've asked my other friends this. Does that make it a date? No. Yes. It's not. No. I want it to be a date. Then it is! Why is this complicated for me? Then it is one. I don't know what's... Shizune approvingly claps her hands and once before adding on to my statement. But not today. I'm going away for a week to visit my family. Oh no, I've just remembered what one of his family things is. Who is? Ugh. This is an oddly formal way of putting it, and for that reason, my interest is piqued. Maybe her family is the prim and proper traditional kind, living in a giant old timey mansion with a little s stream and koi pond where everyone wears kimonos all the time. That sounds 
baller, really? I mean, over here in the States, to me, if I were to, if I were to say the equivalent, right? Think Victorian style. Victorian style home or manor. Everyone's got like a proper like suits on. I consider suits very very comfortable. I have no quarrel over putting on a suit anytime, anywhere. I I will wear that shit like I'm in the 40s and that's my casual wear. I am so old school it hurts people's souls. And if you don't believe me, track down someone who knows me and they'll say, look, that Ryan old school, the way that motherfucker stands, you'd swear he was like a, he, he was from 90 years ago. It's a wild assumption, but it's fun to speculate sometimes. I wonder if Shizune puts on the appearance of being calm and mature good daughter like Lily when she is with her family. I can't imagine it. But there's even a possibility that it's true. Then I must see it. Only a week? It must be not that far of a trip, then. Uh, of course not. They're still in Japan, after all. Really? It isn't like you can come with me. Is that what you're trying to say? Why can't I? It isn't like you would enjoy it. It would give me more characters to look at. Oh, that is definitely not a lie you say to someone in real life. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you don't know that. It could be fun. Ah, I almost forgot. You didn't answer my question. Are you going alone? Or is Misha going with you? Does your family know so does does headphones are coming off and I'm holding one of my guns because it calms me down does the family of a daughter of, of a girl of a person who I can assume was born deaf do they know sign language I'm, I'm just gonna tell myself, my boy, Sal here's just making polite, boyfriendish conversation, but fuck me religiously in the Alps to R&B music, does that come off as retarded? <laughs> yeah, so this is my kid, you know, you know, he's eight years old, he's completely deaf, he's been deaf since he was born, you know, he was too close to a 50 cal when it went off when we were fending off some... Zombie commies. What? Sign language? Nah, I never learned sign language. <laughs> I just assume he was making hand spasms at me. Oh my god. Uh, knowing this world, I probably just offended someone. Probably the zombie commies. Misha is coming. Are you- Do they not know sign language? Ryan, your sister is deaf. Do you know sign language? Believe it or not, I know a little bit of sign language, yes! And every time that I've thrown sign language at my sister, she has kicked me. And I would not recommend getting kicked by my sister. That woman leg presses 400 fucking pounds! My sister reads lips, for those who weren't in the know. Do, do not throw sign language at her. She gets angry. <laughs> I come from a fun family. <laughs> oh, the part of the question left unanswered is the most telling. If Shizune's family can't communicate with her, I have to wonder what her childhood was like. I can't imagine that. Like, I, if my child was deaf, I would have doubled down on sign language. Is it just me? Oh man, I really don't want to come across as an asshole to people who are in this similar situation. I can't imagine how hard that must be. But it's also a little weird. 
that no one else in the family tried to learn how to communicate with you? What the fuck? You know, it's not like if someone in my family was, like, 100% blind and I just purposely moved some things on them. Oh, God, I'm not saying I do. But, <laughs> but it's a little weird. Just a little. Just to me. Only to me. I, I, it's probably only to me. And I'm making this way more longer than it needs to be. She probably wrote everything on a pad that she carries around and still produce, uh, produces out of nowhere sometimes. Usually it's when either Misha or I are, are around. When, uh, I can notice her from far away when she pulls out like like a last resort, grimacing the whole time. If Misha is going, then I'm going to go too. Oh, God, I'm sure your your family, whatever the hell that that circus going to be, I'm going to walk into is going to be one circus meeting another. Okay, let's go. Do you like Misha? What kind of fucking question is that? I tolerate her existence. But unless she, like, comes off as a compl- I No! Why is this a question? We just started dating. What do you think that answer's gonna be? It's the principle of the thing. Damn it. I entertain the notion that they might actually be jealous, but I doubt jealous. <laughs> jealous of Misha? Are you are you fucking for real? <laughs> jealous of Misha? <laughs> she usually wears her emotions pretty plainly on her face, and I don't see anything that would support my theory right now. <sighs> I think you're just bored. Yeah, that's part of it, yeah. What else am I gonna do for a week off with, with, with me? Hang out with Misha? That's okay, though. Alright, we'll all go together. It's what I hoped for in the first place. Then why the fuck didn't you ask? You can't skip out on student council today to pack your bags. Just because you're coming with us on such short notice, it's no excuse. It's okay. I hardly have anything to pack anyway. I'm pretty sure my boy here only has one set of clothes. Actually, no. I'm correcting- I'm gonna correct myself here. He has two sets of clothes. The same school uniform, which I'm pretty sure he only has one pair of. And that sweater vest thing combo for, I've seen from other seasons. I think that's literally it. I think all other clothes was burned after his arrhythmia attack. Shizune pauses, tenting her fingers thoughtfully. You must have come to the school on very short notice. That's not even the half of it. I did. It was kind of on the spot decision. Worked out better than I expected, though. I hope Shizune won't pursue the matter, and to my relief, she doesn't. My home is in a particularly beautiful part of Satama. I would think so? We'll be leaving early in the morning, so be ready. Let's talk about it more later, okay? For now, those handouts won't look over themselves, and you're going to help me. As Shisune dives into her work, pulling me along with her, I think that she seems almost, but not quite, excited to go! Yay! End of a chapter. You know what? Uh, that only went on for as long as it did, because... I make everything longer unnecessarily. I'll go a little bit further. When Shizune and Misha arrive early the next morning and pick me up, they are dressed in something other than the school uniform I've grown used to seeing them in. That... What? 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 That... That hit me like a... Chinese phone book to the face. Wow. <laughs> you look nice. <laughs> it makes sense since we're on holiday, but it's still jarring. Shizune's dress is a sh is sharp and fashionable. 
almost too much for a quiet place like Yamaku. Thinking back to those, what she wore at the Tanaba Festival, I'm starting to notice a trend with her. All of her clothes are very tasteful and mature, very well thought out. So then I wonder why she herself is so immature. <laughs> This channel's broken. What the fuck? Board and then myself. <laughs> I, I'm officially living in a meme. I am officially living inside of a meme that's inside of another meme that's inside of a visual novel that I'm sure was inspired by a meme. Well, at least Misha's clothes reflect her inner self on the outside. Based as fuck! <laughs> are you... Are you fucking kidding me? I can't! I can't! I can't! Why? Why is this a thing in Japan? You're bringing so little. I said I would. I said there wasn't much to pack. I've got my pills and toothbrush. I'm good to go. She's only pouts and rocks on, uh, rocks her own rather large co collective collection of luggage with, with her foot, as if embarrassed. Me surely has one suitcase with her, but it's almost larger than she is. She looks self-conscious about it as well. God, that suitcase is big as a compact car. The pea green is unsettling, too. It's like something used to transport bodies. I would have to take a look at the suitcase for me to pass judgment on that, my boy. The way they look right now makes me want to tease them a little. Aw, oh, that's bad luck for you and Misha, isn't it? Having to carry those huge bags. Gotta pack light next time like me. Everything fits into one little suitcase. You have just set yourself up to be the fucking mule, you stupid man. I'm, I, you know what? Fuck it. After, I, after the past five minutes of, of this recording, past five minutes of everything that's transpired, give me the pen, because... Fuck it, Misha, you'll get a point. Me yes, mark it! Mark it down on the calendar! Misha gets a fucking goddamn point! Now please, if you want another point, do something about that fucking mop on your head with the drills! Whack James Bond! Yes. Exactly like James Bond. 
actually coincidentally if, if I'm not mistaken I probably am James Bond's uh, first gadget in the movies was in fact his suitcase from which one was it from Russia with love Oh, man. If there's someone out there that actually knows if I'm right or not... Welcome to old age along with me, brother. Unless you are probably older than I am, then you should probably be welcoming me. And for those of you at home who have no idea what the hell I'm talking about... Go watch all of the James Bond movies. You'll thank me later. Ellipses! Shizune gently tugs at her glasses in concentration. We should split the amount we carry equally. And the last time... that I checked, woman... this one and I aren't... wearing hammer and sickles on our shirts! Wow, that- Fuck me religiously. Fuck me slow and gently to R. Kelly music. Fuck! I told you, Hisao, this would happen. Nani? No! It would benefit us all. Yep! <laughs> I don't know if it's because she's not in school uniform any or anymore, or what, or this particular picture. Has she always just been thick? Like, what's happening today? I'm gonna have- that's gonna be a no from me, dog. You're outvoted. Well, each one of these fists here counts as their own separate vote. So I think then we're at a goddamn impasse. <laughs> as she almost lunges forth as she signs it. Terrifying. Uh, well, I was just kidding. I don't mind carrying a few extra. I just thought it would be fun to mess with you both. Oh yeah, sure. Great fucking recovery. But if you're going to try and make me carry it all, I was going to ride that giant green case down the mountain like a sled. Ellipses. That seems to make Shizune laugh, and she holds a hand to up to her mouth to, to hold it back. It's like she's hiding it. I wonder if she can laugh. If not, that might be why she does that. That kind of makes me feel sad. I mean, I don't, but whatever. With that, uh, taken care of, we head for the train station. And a very uneventful ride follows. Shizune and Misha manage to fall asleep almost instantly, but I find myself unable to. That's never happened before. Maybe it's my medication. Hmm. When we arrive at Shizune's house, it's quite a bit larger than I envision it would be. I don't think huge would uh, be much of an overstatement. The, the, the strange child thing is going to answer the door, isn't it? Isn't it? You can be honest with me, game. I'm ready for it. I'm not ready for it. You leave in a mansion? I would be really actually shocked if she really lived in a mud hut and was putting on a facade of being rich, dude. Shizune indignantly uh, stands up on her tiptoes so that we're at, uh, at eye level. A and frowns deeply, having had my comment uh, translated by Misha, as if she's saying, how can you even suggest such a thing? Man, like, like, what's everyone's heights here? Because to stand on your tiptoes to hit his house level... What's everyone's height here? I'm only 6'1". So if she's standing on her tiptoes to get to my uh, equal to my height level, she's already got some height on her. She's not competing with Lily in terms of heightness. This is just a normal house. 
nothing as ostentatious as a mansion. I believe our definitions of those terms are quite different than... I don't know, dude! Like, now that I'm taking a step back and looking, it seems to just like a normal house. <laughs> Ishan, are you surprised? Do you want me to point out where you'll be staying? I'm good with the floor. I think we have a guest room, but I'm not sure if we have two. I'll check. Hmm. It's no problem, though, he she. She she and I can share a room if we have to. Well, unless hers is being used for something else now. Not sure? I'm starting to think Shizune doesn't spend a lot of time. She's not sure what's going on inside of her own home. Her family doesn't understand sign language, and I'm guessing doesn't seem to have bothered. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I about to walk into family drama? Sweet molasses, Jesus, tap dancing, Christ on a pogo stick in May. Am I about to walk in? Is that what the theme of this season is going to be? Is having relationship with a girl who sports so much probably daddy issues or mommy issues or brother issues or family <clears throat> I'm getting sick to my stomach just thinking about what I'm about to walk into. Before I can make a joke of it at her expense, Shizumi vanishes into the house and Misha goes with her, leaving me alone on the grounds. I'm probably being watched by a sniper right about now. I don't want to follow him inside just yet. I put my bag down by the f uh, front door and take the opportunity to look around the grounds, just making a quick lap around the house. Oh no. Okay, someone needs to send this thing to man camp, like, pronto. Lose the ribbon, because pulling it off as an ascot, you are not. Lose the ribbon out of your fucking hair, and cut the bunny ears you've got going on up here. And if your hair grows out any any longer, young man, in that, in that manner, I'm just going to buy you a set of fake boobs. Because what is happening? Yeah, you know what? Because me, because seasons ago, I would have been like, "Oh, look, this must be Shizune's younger sister." Oh God, I'm getting ahead of myself. Even though it takes just a few moments when I get back to the first, when I get back, the first thing I notice is that my bag is gone, and a tiny girl is in its place. She looks like Shizune, although Shizune wouldn't wear red shorts and star moon stockings. Oh, Lord! Someone else is about to get hit with that Chinese phone book to the face. Hi, are you Shizune's little sister or something? <laughs> this is the following response. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, who the fuck are you, gamer? No. <laughs> I'm her little brother. My name is Idiot. I don't know. I don't remember what voice I did for this man. This whatever it, it wants to be. I don't remember. What was your what, what? You know what? I'm sticking with that voice. I'm. St I don't remember what I did the last few seasons. I'm sticking with that. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> the the voice that responds is straightforward, monotone, and also definitely male. I feel embarrassed to the point where I could almost turn around and leave right now, if I could remember my way back to the train. Are you the second person that my sister brought with her? 
<laughs> I'm gonna lose my shit. Brought with her? I'm not luggage. Anyway, I'm Hisao. Did you take my bag? Yeah. <laughs> it is my right to keep anything I find on my property. If you're about to say in, that includes me, I've never thought I'd have to beat a second child within an inch of their life. But I've been surprised by many of things this recording. No, it's not. That's not how it works at all. I guess even particularly well-spoken little kids believe in the law of finders keepers. Even though I, I call him little, he doesn't seem that much younger. Now that I think about it. Maybe two or three years younger at most? Then he's old enough to receive these hands. Yeah, I... I, I gave it to Suzune. It's inside. Are you on the student council? Yeah. How did you know? Does she bring it up often? I almost said, does she talk about it often? That could have been bad. Why? Dude. Just say talk about it often. He would know what you mean. I would know what you mean. We're still dealing with people! <laughs> yeah. All the time. Do you get along with her? Yeah, I'm kind of dating her! Get along? You know, that's a weird question. I wouldn't be on the student council if I couldn't get along with her. What about you? Do you two get along well? Even though he has a monotone voice, his face is as ex expressive as Shizune's. And believes uh, how he really feels. It must run in the family. Looks like he isn't happy about my question for whatever reason. I'm sorry. That was always asked what caused you both act so much alike. M me and your sister? You best not say me and Misha. Do you mean me and you? Who do I act like? I'm getting very confrontational. <laughs> I don't know why, but it feels like he's teasing me. Unfortunately, it works. I don't like being compared to Shizune. You're a lot more. You're a lot more like Shizune, but that's to be expected. I mistook you for her little sister, even. If you don't want people to make that mistake, you should dress more appropriately. I don't understand. My clothes are perfectly seasonal. What season? What season are we in? What's with the stockings? They are cool. Are you... Uh, uh, what are you trying to be, a magician? You act like my sister. Eventually people will start mistaking you for her. I don't see that one happening, my gamer. I guess my comment hit him harder than I thought. That would explain this attempt at turning it around. I hate being compared to other people. Shizune doesn't knock her when she's compared to others either. I thought that Hideaki was a little m more mature than Shizune, but they have the same competitive streak and, incl and inclination to provoke people. I wonder if she's a. Uh, I wonder if he's like this because of Shizune. Or if it's the other way around. And neither do you, right? Okay, I get it. I shouldn't be so petty. Especially the little kids. Hideaki seems to accept this an acknowledgement of defeat, which is something that I like that I feel like I can't let go. Unless I'll just ha I'll just have to let it go while I have the chance. Otherwise we're gonna be here all day. Oh, that's a nice clock. Ugly ass fucking lamp, what the fuck? You know, cause these two are nice. Like light fixture slash candelabre like thing you got going on. This, 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 you know, love seat is fine. Don't know the whole heart decor thing going on here. Here, but, mm, I'm critiquing their interior design here. 
Oh shit. Oh sh What the fuck was that? I actually clicked. Did I just see what I thought I see? I can hear Misha's Misha's laughter bouncing through the halls. Through the halls, I, I stepped through the door of the house. I followed into what I would have guessed is the living room. It, it, it holds more people than I expect. 